Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today, as you can see right here on my screen, we are going to be playing with MicroWin, which is a macro recorder, but it's a little bit more than just a recorder. Um, it has a lot of stuff you can do manually, and uh, honestly, I've played a lot on this YouTube channel with different macro recorders, and this one's like the most insane in basically its capability uh, and just ease of use. I really like it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be looking at this and kind of taking a more of a video game approach as this is actually going to be at the recording of this video recorded, or sorry, released very soon on Steam, actually. And that's uh, right now is initiating on July 4th. You can still get it. Link is in the description below. I also have a discount code there, so make sure to use that to get some money off and save. But yeah, let's, uh, you know, I'm excited for the Steam thing just because there's not really any macro recorders on Steam. Uh, this would hopefully become pretty much the number one, as I think they don't really have any competition when it comes to Steam macro recorders. Definitely would be helpful also in bringing a bigger community, especially if you're using this for gaming. But even then, it's still going to help build a much larger community base because it's going to be in the eyes of, you know, all the gamers out there. So yeah. Speaking of community, we're going to be doing a script that's on here. We're going to take one that's already done, switch it up so you can adjust it to what you want, but it's creating your own uh, crosshair. So in like a game like Call of Duty or Minecraft or whatever, you, know, you just want to add a touch of yourself to it, you can. So up here, speaking of community, we got the community center here we're, uh, real quick. You just click it. Do make sure you are logged in. That you just, you know, set up when you get this. But yeah. This is really cool. You know, these are a lot of scripts that people have wrote. They want to share with the world. So it saves you time or gives you ideas. Um, we are going to go here to the filter. We're just going to type in uh, cross, if I can spell it correctly. And there we go. And there we go. We got our on-screen crosshair. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to double click on it. And that's going to pull up the, it's going to download it and basically give us all the information here. So we can make changes, we'll do that here in a minute, but let's go ahead and see this in action. We got our triggers here, it's basically saying when we switch between profiles, you know, if we're switching to the main profile, do the overlay, if not, get rid of it, the overlay. So I'm happy with it, let's say, you know, it's perfect, it works for me, uh, whatever. We're going to go ahead and push save. Saved. Uh, successfully we can close out the community center here and here is our script now ready to go so as you see there's nothing really going on yet so i'm going to switch profiles and then i'm going to switch back to the main and that's what's going to trigger it uh, so as you see right here in the middle of my screen is the red dot obviously it's not moving with my mouse because you know in a video game it's always going to be centered uh, for the most part um, and this is just the default when it comes a very basic little you know, red thing. So let's say we want to take it to the next step now. Let's start customizing it. So we're going to go back in here. And let's say we just want to keep it simple with uh, getting rid of the little red cross here. So for example, I just went to Google. I typed in cool crosshairs. Uh, I found this one right here that I liked. Uh, definitely try to get the ones with no background that are transparent. It's going to look better in the long run. Honestly, this white part right here should be transparent too. But I'll leave that up to you guys to edit uh, your thing. This is just an example. So go ahead, right click on the image, uh, you know, save image as. Do, do, do. Make sure it is an actual image file, not, you know, one of those WEPDs or whatever files, the web files. You don't want that. You want an actual, like, image file. So I downloaded that to my desktop. So I'm going to go right here to where the overlay is. We can keep this one clear because obviously we. It's just going to get rid of it. This is the one where it says add. That's the one we want to change. So we're going to double click that. And as you see, right there is my thing. Let's move it out because that one's there. And yeah, pretty simple. All you do is click on this box anywhere you want. It's going to open. Uh, do you want to, you know, screen capture? Do you want to take it from your clipboard? We're just going to do browse because it's obviously saved to my desktop. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, some random numbers. So that's the one we want now. We're going to go ahead, click open. And we can play around here. We can, you know, play with, like, the size. You know, obviously, this is going to appear very big on my screen. Like, if I were to actually open it in Photo App, 
Obviously, that red thing's still there because I have that profile activated. All right. Obviously, that's uh, that's pretty big. We don't need that. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's say 10%. Obviously, you're going to have to play around with this. Location, uh, it's centered. Some games, they're not always perfectly centered. Um, if it's not, unfortunately, you're going to have to do manual here and just play around with the X, Y, uh, with hide coordinated coordinations. Coordinates, can't talk today. Uh, so just play around with those. You'll eventually get it. Um, so you just got to play with that. Uh, but for now, for this video, we're just going to keep it at centered. I'm going to push OK. So everything should be good. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to switch profiles back and forth. And voila, there is our new crosshair. That definitely looks a lot better, a lot cooler. Like I said, try to I would edit out the white part in the middle. Um, there's lots of free websites out there you can use to do that, or if you know how to do it yourself in you know Paint or uh, Photoshop or whatever program you're using, GIMP, you can do that and make this even fancier. Um, just an example here. And uh, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Always throwing one, two videos out every single week. Like this video if you want to see more just like it. it. Let's me know which videos you guys are liking the most. And just to throw it out there, obviously, you know, you download this all pre-made and everything. You can change it, you know, to the triggers. Just make sure your ifs uh, match, you know, what you're doing. You can have conditions too. I've done videos which you can check out based on this kind of stuff, breaking it down a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, you can do conditions where you know only your trigger works if you're in the Minecraft window or whatever game. You're not going to accidentally press F1 and it's going to pull this up or do whatever code you have while you're in your Chrome browser or something. So you can add conditions, play with on the different triggers. Obviously, the first trigger is just when you switch to the main profile it activates when you switch away it goes away you know you can change it like i did right here keyboard f down just make sure to mess around with your ifs also uh, so yeah if i want to get rid of this i can just have a profile where i can switch back and forth obviously it's not working right now because i've been playing around with it so i lost uh, some of the triggers here um, but yeah uh, another way too just in case is you can right click on your uh, icon on the tray menu click exit and that's just gonna get rid of any scripts you have running so uh, that's another way, too, if something goes wrong and your triggers aren't working correctly. Uh, yeah, if you guys have questions, like I said, let me know in the video uh, comments below. If you guys want me to touch base on something more in macro wins, especially with gaming, let me know. I have a few more videos in some macro recorder. Uh, just uh, look out for those. All right, guys. See you on the next one.